The Big 12 hired a brand new conference commissioner, Brett Yormark, uh, and he was an executive at Rock Nation, which is Jay-Z's company. And before that, of course, he was involved with the Brooklyn Nets, so he knows a thing or two about the sports universe, etc. Again, this is a guy that is involved in the entertainment industry. He understands that side of it. This is an out-of-the-box hire that the Big 12, I think, was looking to do, maybe to replicate what the Pac-12 did with George Klyovkov. Of course, obviously, we've seen what has happened with the Big or with the Pac-12, but the Big 12 here uh, stands to try and and figure out a new way to monetize their product. Right? Uh, I I just listened to this book, and I believe Greg Sankey is the one that read it before the Texas Oklahoma stuff. It's called The Club. And it's about Premier League soccer and the way that they went from just tiny, tiny schools or tiny uh, organizations up to these billion-dollar investments, billion-dollar organizations. Like, each individual team is worth just a ton of money now as opposed to, like, the players that are over there playing soccer right now are worth significantly more. Like, they make more money than what those teams were actually worth way back when. Like, maybe late 80s, early 90s. And now, I mean, it's just a massive, massive global phenomenon. Do they bring in this guy to try and figure out a way to monetize different ways? Like, is it not just a single TV contract? Do you find a way to get involved with multiple networks, and that way those multiple networks end up uh, giving you more money for individual pieces than what you would have gotten just for an overall deal? Like, is there a way to do that? And I'm sure that this guy is creative enough that he will find a way to make this work for the Big 12. But, man, it's not even his first day on the job. I believe July 1st is his first official day in the entire college football world, which is the entire college sports world, is on fire. It is a tire fire right now. Like, tire fire, dumpster fire, whatever you want to call it, it is chaos in this industry. And he gets to start day one by probably trying to reach out uh, to third parties that may be interested in moving to the Big 12. Like, maybe there's more expansion on the horizon, etc. I have no idea. I, it This is a crazy time to be taking over a new job. And, by the way, good luck to whoever ends up taking over the NCAA once Mark Emmert resigns. Like, this is, this is going to be mayhem. Absolute mate. This sport, I've never seen anything like this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.